Gets it back from Scott Hannon. Into the high slot. Boyle shot saved by Gibson. And the rebound controlled now by Bracken Kearns, who just joined the Sharks yesterday from Worcester, Massachusetts, in the American Hockey League. Thornton to the net. And Gibson diving on three games left, including tonight in the regular season. A shot from the point saved by Niemi. Another one comes from Fowler, but it hit a body in front. Logan Couture popped hard on the near side. Contending with a little bit of an injury situation as well with Frederick Anderson, who's close to being able to play again, but Gibson got the job done. Pavelski two shots, Gibson two saves. And Bruce Boudreau, no exception there. Perot down at the goal line. Now back to the high slot and gets last shot, comes right back to him. He'll load up again, toe dragging around Pavelski, who's still got a piece of that. Looks back to the point, now faces the net, wants Pavelski in front, penalties over. As Palmieri, who served it, comes out, and now the Ducks attack, and it's a two-on-one. Kyle Palmieri shoots it wide at the end of the Ducks season, however long that is. <laughs> Just two more games after tonight in the regular season, and then the Stanley Cup playoff. Valeski's one-timer, and Niemi with his best save so far. Valeski pressured by Matt Nieto, number 83 for the Sharks, a native of nearby Long Beach, California. Here's Nieto now with speed, takes it to the net, and Gibson made a stop. The stretch pass up for Andrew Cogliano. Buys himself some time. Puts it back for Koivu. Now the shot from Lovejoy. And on the rebound, the Ducks almost convert a Silverberg. Just missed on a back hit. Pass it. It dropped past Couture. Nice give. Wingle shot. Knocked down by Gibson. Rebound cleared with his stick by Gibson. And out of play. Brent Burns gets by the first man, Perry. In for Pavelski. Back to Burns. Boyle shot. Off the post. Thornton off the side of the net as he one-timed it blocked into the three hole in the west and they will play in the first round whoever finishes second in the pacific and right now it's the sharks in that slot demers and he scores jason demers puts san jose on the board first time joe pavelski as the third man does an outstanding job on creating that loose puck opportunity and then jason demers read the play jumped in has the opportunity, almost loses the puck. Shepard for San Jose, and it drops behind the net. As Beauchemin played it up, he was checked hard by Wingle. Corey Perry, near the end of the period, scores! From fourth to fifth gear right here, drives in one hand on the stick, sneaks it through the five hole of Antti Niemi. A real nice up play, outside speed, and Corey Perry holds off Justin Braun, Change gears, cuts inside, builds the wall. And a good stick by Benino. And then he gets hard on Thornton's stick again, but Pavelski in to retrieve it. Marlowe to the middle. Tap back up top. Marlowe will shoot it. Deflects Gibson diving across. Made the same attack. Perry on the right wing to Matt Bolesky. Leaves it for Corey Perry. Centered for Bolesky off the glove of Niemi. Bolesky again, wheels it around behind the net. Quick is Perry with that wraparound try. And it's been a bit of an issue in Anaheim, at least the playing time. There's a wraparound try and a quick goal by the Ducks to take the lead. Right off the face off. Patrick Maroon having a career year. And this is just a play that he's just quicker than everybody else to the puck. Tay Mussolini dumps it down. Scott Hannon takes the puck away or pushes it away. And met them in the second round, perhaps. You would have home ice again. A save by Gibson. He's trying to find the puck. It squirts out. And Cogliano will clear it out. And up. And here's Silverberg trying to chase it down. Sanders it for Cogliano. And Silverberg off the outside of the goalpost. Back over to Getzlaff, big rebound, cleared, just as Hannon leaves the penalty box. It was interesting there, too, because just before Francois Boschman got the puck, he turned and looked to see who was coming out of the penalty box, if they were coming out at all. Couture scores! Logan Couture! We're tied again at two! You've got to get in front of them, and Patrick 
Marlowe in front of the net did a nice job in screening John Gibson. Logan Couture recognizes there's a screen in front, being pucks deep as he talked about. Also, terrific board play by the defense and the forwards working in concert. Hampus Lindholm, the talented rookie blue liner for the Ducks. Here's Maroon, scores! That's two for Maroon! A good entry into the zone, drive to the net, creates a passing lane, but another one goes through Antti Niemi. Those kinds of goals at this time of year are very disheartening for any team. Seen this year with the San Jose Sharks when Alex Daylock is in net, that the team plays very hard in front of him. Brent Burns. He shot off the post, his second. The surgery, fourth in team scoring, 50 points, his 22nd goal of the season. Earlier in this one, as Allen takes a hard hit from Burns. Andrew Desjardin, San Jose in the middle of the line change, played it for Burns. Now it's taken back by the Ducks. Solani puts on the brakes. Maroon bidding for his first ever NHL hat trick there. From your fourth line. Here's Burns. And his stick snaps in half on that shot. He races across. Now he's in no man's land as the shot is saved by Stalock. Back through, they score. What a play by Matt Valeski. The guy coming up the left side of your screen, and he's going to go right to the net. He would have been the guy that Brent Burns would have checked. Brent Burns went to get a new stick, turned and recognized. He looks over his shoulder. You use the goaltender to pass the puck. The goaltender's pads, a shot from Corey Perry. That gets the puck over to Clint Bolet, or Matt Bolesky. Now a face-off goes back to the point for Beauchemin. Slap shot, and Stalock responds with a glove save. The linesman yelling out to let all the players on the ice know that San Jose's offside. They do tag to get onside, and now a chance for Nieto. Gives for Marlowe and Gibson the save. Burns back down to four seconds. They've got to hurry, the Sharks. Boyle's shot is blocked, rebound, and Thornton drives it at the net. It was blocked by the diving step on Robida at the bus. Schedule maker's a genius. First time I've heard you say that. <laughs> Dan Boyle gets it back from Pavelski and Gibson with the save. Gets it from Jason Demers. Takes it to the net with a shot that Boyle tried to tip home. And now the Ducks clear to center. And Cogliano skates with it. He's two on one with Silverberg. And Stalock the save. Cogliano said, yep, shoot it at me. Made the right decision. You addressed the threat that Anaheim presents shorthanded earlier in this game. We saw it there. Nine shorthanded goals this year. One timer from the point stopped by Gibson. Let everybody else take their defensive responsibilities. Corey Perry now. Trying to get it to the net, he does, and Stalock makes a big save off Perry. Liano to center and sends it down. Russ Taylor talked about it during the break. Anaheim, when they score four goals this year or more, 28-0. Played in by Robida now for Anaheim. Two goals for Maroon for the Ducks. Perry and Bolesky with the others. Demers and Couture for San Jose. Thornton shot saved by Gibson. Edo countering for San Jose, but he had a man on and lost the puck. It was Getzlap on the back check. Todd McClellan told his team today that if you're sloppy in the neutral zone with the puck, Anaheim can hurt you. And right there was another near opportunity on the transition. Couture to Marlowe, and Gibson fights it off. So possible these teams could meet in the second round of the playoffs, the way those brackets are set up that we showed you. Here's Pavelski. His centering pass for Thornton didn't click. Oh. Gibson with a save off his mask there. And Logan Couture was trying to jet up through the neutral zone to support that play, but was interfered with. And now Desjardins. To the net, and Gibson will cover. Brian Allen claimed that off that same side of the boards. Intercepted by Koivu. Saved by Stalock. As the San Jose Sharks, with nine minutes left, have to find a way to manufacture two goals. Couture almost getting one there, but he missed the net. Like a genius, he's two moves ahead of everybody offensively. He just sees the game in a special way. The Sharks now trying to do what Anaheim did a couple of times in a row recently, and that's finished fashion a comeback as Stalock makes the save off Koibu. Demers, and there goes Stalock a second time. 
Pavelski heals his shot. Gibson didn't cover, and Nieto keeps it alive. Marlowe's pass to Nieto broken up. Here's a chance at the empty net. Scoring is Silverberg. And that should do it for Anaheim. Very good. 36 saves on 38 San Jose shots. And the defense in front, impressive too. It took 80 games to do it, but the Anaheim Ducks are Pacific Division champions.